My name is Don Sikorsky. I was the director of um, Article 32. In early 2006, the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment were abruptly transferred from just outside Fallujah City to the Ambar province village of Hamdaniya in western Iraq. Trained to carry out combat and patrol missions, the unit was sent to Hamdaniya, a region commonly described as a hotbed of insurgent activity, to ferret out terrorists and produce actionable intelligence. Eight weeks after their transfer to Hamdaniya, in the early morning hours of April 26, 2006, a 52-year-old Iraqi man, Hashim Ibrahim Awad, was shot dead next to a ditch on the side of the road. Members of the Marine Foot Patrol, led by Sergeant Larry Hutchins, claimed they came upon Awad planting an IED on the side of a dirt road about 500 yards from his home and killed him after a brief gun battle. They claimed to have found an AK-47 and a shovel by his side. Awad's neighbors and family, however, claimed that the Marines took the 52-year-old man from his home that night, shot him four times in the face, and planted a shovel and an AK-47 next to his body. An investigation followed, and soon the seven Marines and one Navy corpsman faced life in prison for their roles in the Iraqi man's death. So what was your inspiration for, uh, for the film? I, I, I came across a, uh, a segment on CNN with one of the Marines, Trent Thomas, and um, he was explaining what had gone on. And there was something uh, off about his story, and um, from there I decided to, to start researching and digging up what actually happened in Iraq on that particular night and I thought it was a story that defined um, the Iraq war and I decided to make a film from it. My name is John Arante, I'm the executive producer of Article 32, uh, the president and founder of Arante Films. So, you know there was a group of, of young Marines, there were eight Marines and um, they were in a really bad area of Iraq um, and they were put in um, very harrowing and moral gray area situations where you know they had to make split-second decisions and um, a lot of their fellow Marines were getting killed, a lot of fellow Army people were getting killed and um, they decided to go out on their own and they ended up killing um, what at the time they thought was a terrorist but you know the media tried to portray it that he wasn't a terrorist um, and that's what sort of the film goes into. Louis Matheny, narrator for the film. Narrator for the film, yes. awesome. Okay, what was your, uh, how, how did you become a part of, uh, of the film? John Arante, who's the producer of the film, and I go back about 24 years, so anytime John calls and says I need a favor, I say yes without asking questions. Uh, you, you have the narrator <laughs> voice. I can, Thank I can you. Hear it, yeah. Like any film, um, it, you know, of this magnitude, it was it was difficult. I mean, we had to hire a film crew to go to Iraq. We had to hire a translator. Funds are always an issue, uh, but we had really good support because of the topic. Uh, we were able to keep it going in a very steady and smooth process. But I'd have to say, because of where the story takes place and because of monetary concerns, those those are any obstacle, considerable obstacles of any film. Uh, it took about a year and a half and it, it was hard, um, you know, there was not a lot of cooperation even from a lot of the Marines families and there wasn't a lot of cooperation on the military side of things so it was very difficult but we were able to craft a story out of the stuff we could get and I think it, it, shows, it shows enough of, of what went on over there. I feel so great to be a part of a film in a world where Everything seems to have a political slant. It's either left or right or left or right. This is a great thinking person's piece. This is neither pro-war nor anti-war. It allows each of us to get involved in something that, you know, is something we don't normally like to think about but have to after seeing a great piece. Sikorsky and Stewart did a fantastic job with this film. It was uh, an amazing event. You know, John Arante, who grew up here, was able to get everyone to come out and support it. And I think the theater is filled for the most part. Um, so that's all you can ask for. We have a title sponsor, Park Avenue Podiatric Associates. He, he sponsored the entire evening. Uh, the people of, of Carroll Gardens and Cobble Hill, uh, the business owners, I mean, I can name a few just to, just to you know, D'Amico's Coffee House, uh, Ramundi Physical Therapy, Body Elite Health Club. These people came out and supported uh, this film and, and this, this event, uh, and they're small businesses. I mean, these aren't like huge conglomerate corporate operations. Uh, but they came out and they supported it and, and you know, the, look, there are people standing in the back rows. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with the turnout. Um, and I think Don Sikorsky and Doug Stewart made a tremendous film. Uh, we have some, you know, we have some influential people in the audience looking at this film. You know, we have a lot of critics, we have a lot of news people, we have a lot of editors. 
and obviously they came out because they understand the the gravity of the topic. It's really good. I mean, they it was very controversial, and and you know they showed both sides. So I really felt like you know it, it really it challenged you. Did you feel like it was a, an inspirational piece in, in any way? Definitely. I mean, it, you know, it, it it really made you think and inspired you to think, and it really made you ask a lot of questions that you wouldn't normally ask. Thank you. Really good. It asked a lot of questions that you know are hard questions to ask, and uh, you know, really drove home the point that there's a you know a war going on over there, a lot of people in over their heads, and you know, really made you think. It was a good movie. It was very thought provoking. It was good. It was good. I think it exposed a lot of what's going on over there in terms of from uh, uh, from a lot of the guys who are out there doing all the work um, and especially the stuff about NCIS. I thought it was very revealing about how some of the stuff seems to be covered up uh, to protect a lot of the top guys in the military. I don't know. It was it was very enlightening in terms of like how people over there. I'm sure when you're told to follow orders. It's something that, you know, we'd like to think that people don't have to do blindly, but I think this kind of brought a lot of that to light. All right, thank you both. We have, we have tremendous uh, documentaries in the pri pipeline. Um, Governors Agreed, which is slated to come out in the last quarter of 2009, maybe the beginning of, of 2010. Uh, I wrote and produced it. Don Sikorsky uh, directed it. That's about the, uh, the economy and everything that's happened with the economy. It's called Governors Agreed. Uh, another controversial film, I might add. You know, Don Sikorsky has this knack of investigative due diligence. And when I met Don uh, through the um, script of Governors Agreed, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was seeking out a great director. And th this guy is just ready to break through. He is a very talented individual. Uh, and I work with him daily, and I, I really understand his vision. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, All right.